Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Meadow Grove. We got a wool problem here. Well, not here per se. More like here. <laughs> we had a. We have reached capacity on the trailer, I believe. A poor little gator. <laughs> this should be exciting. Um, if your name is WV Joe and you own this gator setup, now's a good time to look away. Uh, go get something to drink. Come back in a minute. It'll all be okay, I feel like. Um, yeah, luckily we only have to go right across the street up there somewhere. And I said that last time, we didn't make it without losing all the bales, so... I have about the same amount of faith in this one. Um, yeah, we're gonna go make some money. I just, uh... Not sure. Yeah, we're... All Man, we're making wool so fast. It uh, seems like every other day we're we're at capacity there on our four bales. So maybe time to upgrade the bale trail a little bit. Now it looks a little stressed, but uh, let's see what happens. I haven't moved it since I loaded it, so uh, yeah, this should be exciting. Let's see what happens here. All right. So, anyways, we got a lot going on today. We got a lot to do. We. Uh, you know, we can't, can't find good help around here, so we're going to have to do it ourselves, I believe. Now, uh, Farmer Min has, has one of those jobs in the real world, and I got to tell you, it's like he's obsessed with that thing. He goes every day. I mean, even on Mondays. It's gross. I don't get it. Anyways, um, yeah, we're going to have to do some work here. That was, do you see that? That thing almost went over. We're going to have to go super slow. I can't make myself go super slow. It's like my finger won't do it. No, want to go wide open? Come on, let's go. Oh boy, this should be. Yeah, nothing wrong with this. On the bright side, this should be a fairly easy rig to flip over. Whoa! I thought that was it. This should be a fairly easy rig to flip back over when it does lay on its side. Uh, besides the the wool bales, it can't weigh that much, so we should be able to get it. Yeah, old Turbo Gator is getting it done, though. I tell you what, yanking it right up that hill. This is pretty funny. I can't describe how top-heavy this thing is. It just feels like it's going to fall over. And I'm sure there is no kind of spring or shock left on that trailer. That thing has got to be flat. Oh, boy. All right. So, anyways, like I say, we got a lot to do today. We're, uh, we're running solo here for a little bit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We have to spray some weeds. Uh, I think I'll probably do that first just to get it over with before the growth state changes. We also have to plow and cultivate and lime the new grass field that we got uh, so we can get it planted with oats for Mr. Joe there. We don't want him to take all our cool toys back. Of course, if he watches this video, he's probably coming to get them after this. <laughs> Your lease is over, my friend. Oh no, we're gonna make it under this tree. This is gonna be problematic here. I need to get the old chainsaw out. All right, look at that easy peasy. I, I had a good feeling about this. Nothing to it. Now watch me flip it, pull it into the parking lot here. And did we make it? Feel pretty good about this. Oh, oh gosh, oh baby, no, no. Drive through it. Drive through it. Gotta accelerate out of it. No. Why won't that trailer come back? Here it goes. Whew. Actually, uh, getting tense there. My stomach muscles tensed up. Oh gosh, no. Drive through it. Here we go. Let it go. Whew. <laughs> oh. Hello. No. Oh boy, this is... Alright, I'm gonna take the straps off. This is... <laughs> Look at that. Nothing happened. All right. Uh, so, wow. Talk about anticlimactic. Uh, I figured they would just start selling. Pretty sure that's what happened with the last load we brought in here. As soon as we pulled in, I didn't bring any sort of equipment to unload us there. Hmm. Slam on the brakes. Oh. There we go, we got two of them out of there. Oh. 
you know, the wool sells for more when you soften it up by beating it off out of the pavement. So uh, we're actually improving it quite a bit here. So what we're doing, we're doing that on purpose. And one more. There we go. All right. Easy peasy. Like professionals do it right there, buddy. That's uh, that's how they do it in the books. Probably give a training class on that. Anyways, look at us. Up to $15,000. Oh, yeah. And <laughs> since nobody's here and we're unsupervised, um, Grease Monkey doesn't seem to mind us signing the checks. So we're going to go get some more equipment, too. Um, what we're going to do is we have a 4-meter power harrow to cultivate with. And we have a 3-meter plow to plow with. I am going to take the power harrow and sell it to Grease Monkey because he has somebody that's looking for one. And we're going to take that money and buy a 4-meter subsoiler that plows and cultivates. So uh, The only thing it won't do is create a new field, but uh, we'll still have the 3-meter case if we need to do that. So I think it's a pretty good deal. Uh, like I say, we're going to end up with more money than we got and we'll still have essentially the same functions um, not quite as cool without the power harrow but um, the subsoiler will plow and cultivate at the same time so uh, same width whole lot cheaper uh, about a third of the price actually so yeah that's what we're gonna do we will uh, that way when we do the grass field over there we can hopefully in one pass uh, we'll go in and spread lime and then on the next pass, we will both plow and cultivate to uh, satisfy all those requirements. So that's the plan anyways. That's what we're going to do. Uh, we got the zeal here. What am I? Oh, we got to go to the store. We got to go see Grease Monkey. All right. Well, I tell you what. I am going to take a walk. We're just going to walk down this way. Uh, the Steiger is already at the store. I dropped it off there last night. So... Uh, I'll have a ride home, so I'm just going to take a walk. That way I don't have to leave any equipment there. So, let me take a walk down the road here, and I will catch up with you in just a minute. Well, look at that fine piece of machinery right there. I think this is going to be a, a good deal all the way around. So, like I say, that is less than $9,000 sitting right there. That will both plow and cultivate for us. It is 4 meters wide. This folds out to 4 meters wide. It only cultivates and... We can get the grand total of $27,000. So, yeah, that is literally three times as much, um, yeah, to only do one job. So, you're gone, my friend. Especially since nobody's here to tell me not to. I like it. We're going to have to come back and pick this thing up. We're going to have to bring the frostal mash up here and pick that up. <laughs> I wonder if Grease Monkey's got any... I bet he's got a harvester around back. We can hook up to that just to get it on the trailer. That way I don't have to bring that all the way up here. I can just run up here with the tractor and get it. Um, yeah, we'll ask Grease Monkey if he can hook us up with that. But there's our herbicide We get for our weed spraying. Our tanks are full. And I have put the tanks back on the fence. So our spray rig is ready to go. I'm going to take this, run it back to the farm, and we're going to jump in that and take off. Uh, we have three fields right now with weeds in them that we need to spray, so that's the plan. We're gonna, whoa, the plan is not to injure that guy. So, you know, take out some road signs with this thing, it doesn't fold up. That's all right, that's okay. Still a good deal. I'm still proud of that one. All right, so let's see what I say we're doing. We're doing one of those things. Yeah, spraying weeds. We got three fields to do. We have field number one, field 39, and field 40. Uh, as of right now, there's no weeds in field 69, the big cornfield, but I'm absolutely positive that will change as the growth state progresses, so. Uh, woo, we almost lost one there. We almost bought ourselves, look like a little Audi. We almost bought ourselves a station wagon. Anyways. Oh, spinnery with the crazy parking lot. I can't, <laughs> I can't believe that thing didn't tip over. I thought that was the end of it. All right. Well, we made it. So let's see. I guess I can go ahead and run this down to field 73, I think it is. The new one that we just purchased. Whoa. Getting crazy. 
Yeah, we'll just go ahead and take that down there and then we can run back over here. We'll just jump the hedge and run over here. Let's see, there's no entrance on that side. Is there? Yeah, there is. Nice. So there is an entrance to the big field right there. I uh, don't want to go driving across all the corn, but there is an entrance there. We can use that in the future. Well, that's good news. Yeah, there you go. Future oat field right there, looking good. I tell you what, if me and that farmer men guy slack off much more, the grass will be ready to mow again before we get this done. Uh, if I had a little more time, I would do that. I would mow it again and get another round of silage bales off of there. But... Uh oh, we'll tear the new stuff up. There we go. Alright. Just to make sure it's gonna work. Oh yeah, gonna be perfect. Perfect, I say. Alright, so, um, I said I wanted to do something else before I did this field. Oh, lime. That's what I'm gonna do. So, after I spread the, spray the weeds, I will get the lime spreader and do this field. It needs to be limed, so if we're only gonna do one pass as far as plowing and cultivating, we might as well, uh, get that done. Really need to, as a matter of fact, so. Alright, got my go fast boots on. Let's get a little trucking done here. Let's see. Let's go this way. I think it's parked right here, as a matter of fact. Yeah, there we go. Alright. I guess, since we're here, let's just go ahead and do field number one. That was the first field that he planted, so I guess we'll spray them in the order they were done. And I think one, yeah, one is absolutely done fertilizing. I did that uh, a couple episodes ago, so... Yeah, we'll get the weeds done, and this one should be good to grow, hopefully, through the rest of its growth. We may have to do weeds one more time. It's been so long since I had since we had weeds on. It was back in Felsbrin, the last time that uh, we played with weeds turned on. I really gotta be honest, I don't care for them very much. Yeah, I just thought about crop destruction. I don't think I'm gonna do any damage here. Yeah, I just, uh, I like the idea of having to spray the weeds. I just don't feel like it was implemented properly. And I'd, I'm not smart enough to have the solution for it, so... Uh, try not to complain about it too much. But yeah, I just think it's, it's kind of silly that, uh... You know, as soon as you, as soon as you get done planting, there they come. And if I'm not mistaken, either the first or second growth stage, they, they come again. They do another round, so... Uh, like I say, just it's very, very expensive to just take care of just the weeds. And if I'm not mistaken, again, they don't have any effect on the harvest yield. So uh, they're really kind of pointless. You're really just spending money that doesn't need to be spent. But that's all right. That's all right. Let me see. That didn't work out the way I thought it was going to work out at all, did it? Not very good. All right, we'll get this thing. Maybe. Looks like I've never done this before. Here we go. Now we're getting some action. All right. So bye bye weeds, and that's another thing. They just look terrible visually. They just drive me crazy in the field. This whole brown, dried up husk here. Yeah. So that's my rant about weeds. That was, yeah, uninspiring, wasn't it? Yeah, I can't leave those back there. We gotta get those too. I still think I missed some. All right, I'm not going back. It's just gonna have to be okay. Like I said, I don't believe it hurts the yield, so it'll be all right. Let's see, we're we'll back down in this corner here. Man, this trailer does not want to cut. I guess the tandem's on there so close together. She is a straight line machine. Alright, we'll just jackknife it in there. How about that? 
Well, the good thing about it is this will knock the field out really quick. I uh, believe at the rate we're going, I think we'll be able to do all three fields with one tank, so. Or the, the back tank plus the front tank, so. We have that going for us, at least it won't be that expensive. And of course, saying that, I mean, it was still $3,000 to fill this thing up, so. That's an uh, extra $3,000 on the, on the cost there, right off the top. Be nice if I could mix my liquid fertilizer and my herbicide together and spray them both at one time. Be nice. Of course, that probably cause some sort of fire. I'm not good enough with chemicals to understand what even the implications of that are. That would be some sort of bomb or something, probably. But it would still be nice. It would make my life a lot easier. So that's essentially all we're worried about here, right? That's the ease of Jockey's life. Yeah. Some of us, anyways. At least one of us. All right. I think we're done here. And let me grab that guy right there. Perfect. <laughs> and one little swipe right there. All right. There we go. Easy peasy. So let me take this up to Farmer Men's Place. I'm going to hit field 39 and 40 up there real quick. Like I say, I believe I'll be able to do it on the same tank. I don't see why not. They're about the same size as this one, so we only used about 9% there. Yeah, this is going to be nice. So, yeah, let me go take care of that, and I will catch up with you when we are ready to put some lime down on the grass field. I'll be right back. All right, back in our ride. Finally back in the big boy here. Um, I left the Fent up at Farmer Men's Place because only half of Field 40 had weeds in it. So I got a feeling I'm going to be doing the rest of the field uh, here shortly. Whenever, whenever the loop catches up to it. So I just left that up there and like I say, eventually we'll be doing that field right there. I'm absolutely certain. Unless for some reason weeds don't grow there, which is highly unlikely. So what we're going to do now is run over, grab the spreader. Yep, there we go. Just as I said that, I couldn't remember where it was, but it's right there where we left it. So that's pretty fortunate. Not always the case around here. So let's see, does it have lime in it? No, that's not the right button. Oh no, that's fertilizer. Hmm. All right, I tell you what, we'll just unload that, maybe make some pallets right here. I think we can unload this one. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. All right, we'll take this to the store. I'm going to fill it up with lime, and we are going to get to work on the grass field. We're going to make it an oat field. Lofty, lofty goals there. So, all right. Let's go do that. Let's see if we can get there without tearing anything else up. Yeah, so well, I think we've done all right here. Made a little bit of money. Uh, made quite a bit of money, actually. And I tell you what, while I'm thinking about the money, and while nobody's here to stop me, as soon as we get to Grease Monkey here, I am going to make a payment to the bank. We're going to cut this loan down. Um, we won't say nothing to Farmer Men. We had, what, six, seven thousand dollars when we started today, so we can run it down that far and uh, just pretend like nothing happened, you know? Be like, I have no idea what you're talking about. I don't know what money. We'll dig us out of this hole. We're going to get it. Uh, I keep forgetting about all the stuff I got to come pick up up here. A lot of things here. So, let's see. Lime. Yes, lime is what we need. 2,000, which is unfortunate because I believe we can only hold 1,800 liters. So uh, it's a good thing I left the forks on there. I can just take the rest of the pallet with us. No sense in leaving it here and having to come all the way back because we're going to burn through it pretty quick. As a matter of fact, I wonder if I could carry two pallets on the forks. It would certainly be worth it to take another one with us because, oops, field 73 I think is going to use a bit, quite a bit. I get the forks off the ground. I keep bouncing the front tires like that. Let's see. I, don't, I think that might work. Let's give it a shot. 
I mean, after all the things we've tried today, right? <laughs> I can't believe we're not going to stop at this one. Yeah, we made it with that wool trailer. We're going to make it just fine with this. All right, let's see here. We'll take this. Push it over. Trying to get it somewhat straight. I wish I had a hover button for the forks. I should have a, a button to just stick them ground level. Float them just a little bit. Perfect. Just like we meant to do it, right? All right. Yeah, if we can just make it back without knocking any mailboxes over or any rearview mirrors off, we'll be all right. It's kind of like me driving around in Minnesota in a tractor I shouldn't have been driving. I think I had triples on the back. Somebody let me drive it down the road. I'm pretty sure the mailboxes still haven't recovered, but that's all right. I got out of the state before anybody said anything to me, so I think we're okay. I don't think there's any sort of extradition laws or anything like that. I think we'll be all right. Maybe we can't go back, but that's all right. It'll be okay. See, I don't like having to observe traffic laws here. This is no good. We're going to have to go for the pass. See you, buddy. Uh oh. I am flying around here like I don't have two pallets hanging off the front forks. Ooh, look how heavy we are in the front. <laughs> that got exciting right there. Let me make sure I'm even doing the right thing here. All right, let's see. It needs plowing. We know that. Yes, it does need lime. Okay. That's the only field that we own that needs lime. All right. Uh, we can also fertilize field 69 there. Maybe I'll go get our... Uh, no, I got... Yeah, I just unloaded two pallets of fertilizer. Yeah, that's what I'll do. We'll just throw some solid fertilizer down and use what we already bought there. And field 69 will be good to go. I think there was one other field up at Farmer Men's that needed a pass of fertilizer too. I think it was 39. 40 is done, but 39 needs a little bit. So we'll get it. We'll get there. Try to keep these things in some kind of list in my head. We'll cover the stagger here. Give it a little powdered sugar bath there. And we are off and running. That is it. I am telling you what. We are just a marvel of efficiency. Uh, yeah. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. So, anyways. Yeah, we're... We're getting this done. I'm gonna... We will subsoil this, plow and cultivate in the same pass. I'm just going to do a circle around the trees in the middle. I'm not going to try to go through the middle of them like I did with the mower. Uh, too hard getting equipment caught up in there. We don't want to mess with any roots or anything. So, Plus, we've seen farmer men drive. I mean, let's be honest. We don't need to put any added obstacles in his way. We don't want to make it any more difficult for him than it has to be. So, bless his little heart. We'll, uh, we will... Just do a circle, yeah. Matter of fact, I think that's the only thing that's plowed around there is a circle, so. Uh, like I say, the subsoiler does not create fields, so. Wouldn't work anyways. We'd only have to drive around them, so that's, yeah, alright. That'll work out perfectly. And we're getting way better mileage off of this lime than I thought we were going to get. I don't know why somebody had to purchase two pallets and bring it with them. That's crazy talk. Yeah, I really thought that, uh, thought this wouldn't last at all. Oh, well, <laughs> I'm so silly. That number is counting what's on the forks. That's why it's such a big number. Okay. Yeah, we're about to run out back there. That makes much more sense. Yeah, the spreader itself is almost empty. The The number I'm seeing is the what's on the forks. There it goes. Perfect. All right. Yeah, that's... That's way more reasonable. I couldn't believe that we had done this whole field with just that little percentage. All 
Yeah, obviously I picked the wrong one, so now I'm still gonna have to carry two. Yeah, good job. All right, no big deal. Let me hook them back up before I take off. We are almost done with this one. Yeah, like I say, I wish I had something to tell me when the forks were just hovering just the way they should be. And there we go. All right. So we have done most of what we set out to do today. I will do a little culty plowing off camera. Me and the stagger take a little ride here when nobody's watching. But as far as we go, that's going to do it for another episode there. We're going to call it right there. Take our white tires and we're getting out of here. So I want to thank you for coming and hanging out with me. I am Golf Cart Jockey and I want you to have a good day. <laughs>